Hi everyone, welcome to today's Lunch and Learn. Today's topic is raptor eyes. So you've probably heard the sayings, you watched me like a hawk, or they were eagle-eyed, or there's even the superhero that's hawk-eye. Raptor eyes have uh, long been seen as these amazing things. And they are. Raptors use their eyes for hunting, so they have to be really amazing for them to see their food. Raptors have binocular vision, so that allows them to have vision from their eyes on the sides of their head, as well as it overlaps quite a bit in the front. So they can determine how far or how close an object is because of that binocular vision. It gives them great depth perception. So if you watch a raptor long enough, you'll actually see them sort of bob their head, move from side to side, all around in a circle, and they are using that to triangulate with their eyes how far away a prey or something that they're interested in is away from themselves. Raptors have great distance vision. So things like an eagle, for example, can see a prey from about one mile away. Now, to imagine this, if you were to stand at one end of a football field and put a newspaper on the opposite goal post, a bald eagle would be able to see the individual words on that newspaper, whereas as humans, we might be able to see that there's a newspaper. Maybe, if you've got good vision, it might just look like a blob at the other end of the field. To help protect their eyes, raptors have three eyelids. They have top and bottom like us, but they also have a third one that goes sideways called a nictitating membrane. And that is a translucent film that they can close when they need to help protect their eye. So if there's bad weather and they're flying and they're trying to keep debris out of their eye or right before they catch a prey, they can close their nictitating membrane and allow that to protect their eye from getting hurt from any of those things. Ospreys will also use their nictitating membrane when they are diving underwater to catch a fish. It acts a little bit like a pair of goggles. There's two different types of cells in our eyes. There's cones and there's rods. The cones are color detecting cells where the rods are light detecting cells. So for raptors, the diurnal birds that do hunt during the day, they can see in color. They have a lot of the color detecting cones. However, for our owls who are nocturnal hunting at nighttime, they don't have very many cones in their eyes. They don't really need to see color since they're hunting in the dim light, but they do have a high amount of the rods, which are the light detecting cells. So they can see very well just from the little bit of moonlight there might be. They have amazing vision because of that. When it comes to seeing colors, birds have us beat. Humans have three types of cones that allow us to see the rainbow spectrum of colors that we can see. Birds, however, have extra cones that allow them to see colors we cannot see, colors in the ultraviolet spectrum. This is useful since bodily fluids like urine show up in the ultraviolet spectrum. They can hunt their prey just by following the urine trail. Birds of prey do have a bony ridge above their eye called a superorbital ridge. If you feel above your eye where your eyebrow is, you can feel we have one as well. However, for a bird of prey, it's quite pronounced. A superorbital ridge acts a little bit like the bill of a hat, like a baseball cap, for example, and it shields the sun from the raptor's eyes. It also protrudes quite a bit, so it keeps things like branches and leaves out of the bird's eyes as they're flying through trees or bushes. Since raptors rely on their eyes for hunting, they are really important to the overall health of the bird. We do see a lot of patients that have to be non-releasable back to the wild because of eye problems. We see things like cataracts and abrasions and defects in eyes for our raptors in the raptor trauma clinic all the time. Our new patients do get eye exams. We will look into their eyes to look for any abrasions and then we'll also use a fluorescein dye that allows us to use a black light and see if any of the abrasions are showing up. Another interesting thing for some species is the eye color. Some of our raptor species, their eyes actually start one color when they're born and they change color as a juvenile and then they'll change eyes color again when they're an adult. For example, this happens in osprey. When they're very, very little young hatchlings, they actually have a red color 
and then as the bird ages, they turn to be an orange or a yellow. This happens also for Cooper's hawks. And another interesting eye color it comes from our swallowtail kites. In the wild, a swallowtail's kite is black, but under human care, their eyes turn an orange color. Hopefully you learned something about our raptor eyes today in our Lunch and Learn. We would love to have you back tomorrow at noon, so don't forget to check back in with us. And don't forget also to check our website for the fun activities and ideas for you guys to do at home to continue learning about raptor eyes today. Bye.